What if you could utilize your smart home to send an alert to relatives if say maybe there's some sort of emergency? Maybe you live alone, maybe you have health issues or you're an elderly person, maybe all of the above. Maybe you have family members out there that you worry about and would like to set something like this up for them. Smart homes are a lot of fun, but they can also be utilized to protect our health and safety. And this is something that just doesn't really get discussed a whole lot. So today we're gonna create an automation that could potentially save a life. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shane, if this is your first time here, and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using Apple's HomeKit, with new videos published every Sunday and live streams every Wednesday. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss the next time I go live. So I get a lot of questions and stuff about HomeKit and automations and things like that, but one recently really caught my attention. One of my channel members, Kevin, reached out to me. He left a nice message and informed me that he currently lives alone and he has several Acara motion sensors and would like to be able to send an SMS message to a relative if, say, no motion has been detected in his home for a while. Basically, if he passes in his sleep, he doesn't want to go unnoticed for a week. Those are his words, and sorry if that got a little dark, but I thought this was a really great question and I really wanted to see if I could find a solution for this. The fact is many of us may have older folks or people with health problems or disabilities possibly living alone much of the time. Uh, having recently went to visit my 85 year old grandpa just the other week who also lives alone, shout out to Pappy, uh, made me realize that this kind of thing is something that I think a lot of people could really benefit from. Kevin also went on to say that it would be nice to have a shortcut that would call the police if you yell at Siri for help. He just got a new HomePod mini, so I totally understand wanting to be able to do this. Good news here, that's super easy. Stick around to the end because we'll discuss this and a few other bonus safety tips uh, at the end of this video. But first, I wanted to address Kevin's main question. How can we set up an automation that will notify his family in the event that no motion is detected throughout the house for an entire day? This will let his family know that, hey, something's probably not right, we need to check on Kevin. So I racked my brain on this for a while and I did think of a few ways. Some got pretty complex using HomeBridge and other messaging services, but I really wanted to keep this as simple as possible. Someone like my grandpa probably isn't running HomeBridge at his house, so that's not really an option most of the time. And I did find a pretty simple solution. All you need for this to work is an iPhone or an iPad, a HomeKit hub, being either an Apple TV or a HomePod, a motion sensor, and a smart plug. Any HomeKit motion sensor will work and any HomeKit smart plug will work. I actually have here the new SwitchBot Plug Mini. Big thanks to SwitchBot for sponsoring today's video. SwitchBot actually released seven new products in the first half of 2022, including this new HomeKit smart plug, as well as their pan and tilt camera, a retrofit lock, light strips, and much more. So they've really been on a roll this year and they recently announced that they'll be bringing HomeKit support to more of their existing smart home products in the near future. Now to give thanks to smart home lovers out there, SwitchBot is holding a SwitchBot week event where you'll have a chance to get bigger discounts than you get on Prime Day and they're even gonna be giving away 50 iPhone 14s. I'll put a link to all the details below in the description so definitely check that out. And thanks again to SwitchBot for sponsoring today's video. So this smart plug is what we'll be using. It's really just gonna be used as a dummy switch for our automation. We're not actually even gonna plug anything into this this. You could also create a virtual switch for this using something like the dummy switch plugin with HomeBridge if you have access to that. But like I said, I wanted to create a solution that didn't rely on HomeBridge or anything else. But if you are running HomeBridge, you can just replace this smart plug with your dummy switch in the automation if you want. So to accomplish this, we need to set up a total of three automations. Don't worry, they're very simple automations to set up. This is not going to be hard, so just bear with me. Essentially, we're going to tell HomeKit to turn that smart plug on whenever motion is detected. Then at a certain time each day, if that smart plug has not been turned on, we're gonna send a message to your family. And finally, we'll need to reset the smart plug so that we can run this automation every day. Sound good? All right, let's do it. 
All right, so let's go ahead and open up the Shortcuts app because we're going to create personal and home automations in order to get this done. So we can do all that in the Shortcuts app. Go to your Automations tab and we'll start a new automation. We're gonna first create a home automation. This is gonna be for the motion sensor to turn on our smart plug. So we'll choose a sensor to detect something. Now you'll choose your motion sensor that you wanna use for this automation. Uh, this should be obviously a motion sensor that you or your loved one, whoever you're setting this up for, will definitely pass in front of every day at least to uh, trigger motion at least once a day. So uh, let's find a motion sensor. I'm just gonna go with, uh, let's go right here. Front foyer motion sensor, choose next. We're gonna choose detects motion. Now you can choose between certain times of day so you can start to get creative uh, later on once you figure out how this works and maybe run this multiple times a day and things like that. But for simplicity, I'm just gonna keep it like this. We'll choose next. Now we're gonna look for our smart plug. Here, SwitchBot Plug Mini, choose next. All right, and I want that to turn on. So when motion is detected, I want that to turn on my smart plug, okay? Again, depending on how you set this up, you could even use this if you wanted to turn it off after a few hours, maybe run this every four hours or so, but that's our max right here is four hours. But again, I'm gonna leave this off. Uh, so again, just keeping it simple, motion is detected, turn on our smart plug, choose done, and that's it. Um, so our automation is set up. There you go, when motion is detected in the front foyer, uh, turn on that smart plug, okay? So that's our first automation. Now we need to configure our second automation, which is actually gonna be a personal automation. Uh, and this will run at a certain time of day. Uh, if that smart plug is off still, means that no motion has turned it on, and so then we wanna send our message, okay? So here we'll go to new automation. We're gonna create a personal automation. Again, this is all being done in the Shortcuts app. And we're gonna do a time of day. And uh, let's run this at, I don't know, let's say seven o'clock p.m., okay? All right, and make sure every day, make sure daily is checked there. Tap next. And we're going to add an action. Now first we need to run an if statement. So, all right, so we need to check to see if that switch that smart plug is on or off. So tap input, choose home accessory, and here you can look for that smart plug. SwitchBot plug mini. If SwitchBot plug mini is on, we want it to say if it is off. So we'll tap that and choose is if off. So that means if this smart plug is off still at 7 p.m., that means we might have a problem. So now we need to send a message. So let's look for message and we'll do send message and we'll drag this up under here so it happens if the plug is off and we'll type in a message and say so there we go it'll say no motion has been detect has been detected at the house today you might want to give me a call uh, now we need to tap our recipients okay now you can choose anybody from your contact list here uh, your kids your you know your mom and dad brother sister friends, whoever. All right, so that's gonna come to me. Again, you're gonna wanna send this to other people. Uh, that's the idea. And you can add, the cool thing about this is you can really add as many people as you want. So I can add the wife here. Um, you can add as many people as you want, okay? So that's it. If the plug is on at 7 p.m., it's gonna send that message automatically. Now we can add a nothing action and drag it up under here under otherwise. So if the plug is off, it'll send that message. Otherwise, it'll do nothing. And that's really it. So uh, we can test this out. Uh, that plug is off. So this should run automatically if we test it out. Okay, so now we can tap next. You can see at 7 p.m. it's gonna run that shortcut every day no matter what. We do need to turn off ask before running. That's very important for this to run automatically. So we'll tap do not ask uh, and done. And that's it. Now if we go up here under our personal 
automations you should see at 7 p.m. we can send that message now again you can get a little creative you can run this at multiple times if you want to check on somebody maybe every four five six hours you can run this automation every so often you just need to make sure you turn off that smart plug after the automation runs so that's what we're gonna do right now so we'll create one more automation this is going to be a home automation um, a time of day occurs and you can choose whenever you can do this right after the automation so if you run that last automation at 7 p.m. maybe you want to run this at like 7.05 uh, to turn off the smart plug and kind of reset everything or you can do this whenever so I'm gonna choose I mean I can go with like 5 o'clock a.m. you know to reset this so this way at 5 o'clock a.m. Uh, regardless of what that motion sensor has done you know it will turn it off and reset so now this will be for like a new day and it'll be looking for motion from basically 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. and as long as there's motion between 5 a.m. and 7 p.m. it'll turn on that smart plug and I won't send that notification if no motion has been detected it'll send that okay so uh, make sure all your days are chosen we're going to go back and look for our smart plug um, switch bot plug mini next and we're going to make sure again that that turns off so this is just resetting it for a new day so what we did essentially here is create a series of automations that every day between 5 a.m. and 7 p.m. Uh, we'll be looking for motion if motion is detected it'll turn on that smart plug if no motion is detected that smart plug will never come on and then at 7 p.m. that automation that personal shortcut will run that looks to see if that smart plug has ever been turned on throughout the day if it was turned on nothing will happen if it never was turned on meaning no motion was ever detected then it will send your family members that text message notification in addition I did mention a couple of bonus safety tips for today so Kevin mentioned wanting to be able to call 911 from your HomePod or Siri well good news there is no automation or shortcut needed this is a feature that actually works natively all you need to do is say hey you know who call 911 on the HomePod Siri will ask you to confirm if you want to call emergency services hey call 911 should I call emergency services on your iPhone you can do the same thing and Siri will start a three second countdown to call emergency services and even puts it on speakerphone automatically hey call 911 calling emergency services on speaker also if you hold down the volume and power buttons on your iPhone at the same time you get the slider for emergency SOS you just slide it and it'll call and if you're unable to use the slider you can continue holding the buttons to activate the emergency call the same thing when you hold down the little button on your Apple watch so all that is really good stuff to know I really hope today's video sparked some ideas and potentially useful ways you can utilize your smart home to keep a better eye on your loved ones there are also some ways you can trigger text messages and even phone calls directly from HomeKit. This would be great for setting things up like a panic button to call or text people or even automations that would do it you know automatically based on various home kit triggers it's a little more advanced and does require home bridge but something that we'll probably explore in an upcoming video so stay tuned subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on that and future videos again live streams every Wednesday would love to see you there and if you want to support the channel even further and join as a channel member like Kevin you can click that little join button down below um, or over here on the screen. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.